Hey you, just being the most awesome you you can be. Don't forget to search for Bro Love Music tutorials and Facebook groups. Beautiful people all over the world, in America, Canada, South America, Switzerland, France, Germany, Poland, all over Europe, everywhere. Um, thank you for liking uh, my channel, my videos, subscribing and sharing my videos and everything. So I'm just going to get into this really quickly. Uh, make sure that you go watch the video that is first in this playlist. I am crafting and procuring and curating a select playlist for you guys to get started. So before you start this video, stop, go watch the other video or you're going to be lost and you're not going to be able to complete this process. You need 30 minutes to watch this video. You need about 30 minutes and you're going to need maybe about 30 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes to complete the process that this video describes. OK, so again, Stop watching this video, watch the other video, and then set aside about two hours, depending on your computer processor speed. You may not need two hours. You may only need one hour, 30 minutes to watch this video, 30 minutes to complete. But OK, that's a disclaimer, not even a disclaimer, but let's get into it. OK, so the first thing you need to do is set up your in music profile. If you don't have an in music profile, you're not going to be able to get past go. All right. So you're going to go to kaipro.com, create an account. I cover all of that and all of this in the other video. This is the thumbnail, right? This is what the thumbnail looks like. And it'll show you how to get here where your serial numbers and your downloads, your products are. First step, easy four steps. You want to install and set up. You want MPC beats. And your iLock account, right? So now MPC Beats is the program that the Akai PK Mini is rocking with. The other video shows you how to download the programs. You see, I have them here on my desktop, and I have them very, very organized, right? As you can see, I'm going to go to uh, the last folder that I was using. And I have here my MPK mini software. You want to unzip this. We also have the MPC, but that's another video. OK, we'll unzip this and it will give us a program or an install or a DMG, whatever you want to call it. And then you want to double click. Bing, bing. Once you click on this, it will give you a uh, dialogue. You want to click open. And uh, once you click open, then you will uh, click yes, because you do want this to install into your applications folder. All right. So there's no dragging and dropping here. You just, you know, click OK and uh, you give it permission to place the things where you need to be. Give it up to the software engineers at Akai. All right. You get this window, you click let's go and you connect your Akai and PK mini right now once you're connected you click next and then it asks you do you want to download these vsts you want to make sure they're highlighted click next it asks you if you want to download beats you make sure it's highlighted there's information here that you can read at this section or you can click it while you're downloading and have something to read if your computer's really slow click next and it asks you if you want the sounds that come with uh, beats. If I were you, um, I would click all of these. I mean, they're really great sounds. And uh, yeah, who wouldn't want free sounds? There's information about, you know, the, um, the uh, sounds themselves. And so just make sure you highlight these or click the circle and check the uh, circle. Click finish. That's good coffee and uh, just make sure you have everything checked because you don't want to uh, have anything missing. Uh, it's going to ask you to create 
an iLock account, I already have one. And so uh, just make sure that you have one. Uh, from this codec, uh, it will take you to iLock because you need to activate your licenses and you need to be able to use those licenses to open the programs. You can't use them without it. This is a very important step. It's kind of tedious, but you need to create an account with iLock or you're going nowhere. At this point, uh, I clicked, I already have an iLock account. And so I can begin downloading all of the VSTs. I can begin to download MPC beats and I can begin to uh, download the MPC sound packs. Now, as these download, you'll get a codec uh, that, you know, says it's done cooking. You may get some permissions uh, that you need to give the OK for, depending on, you know, what type of security you have on your computer. I have all firewalls. I have everything uh, here in this section. Uh, you can go to the MPC community, there's a forum, there's videos, there's tutorials, there's even support. Um, there's a uh, troubleshooting FAQ, everything that you need as a beginner to learn how to use MPC beats, you know, and uh, you can download sounds and talk to other producers. Now, my computer has 16 gigs of RAM. And so this process takes me less than 10 minutes to download all these programs. Your computer may take an hour and a half. That's why I say you need it. You need to take about a couple hours to watch this video, which this video is about 30 minutes. And then, you know, about an hour and a half to get all this stuff up downloaded. And then also you need to activate the licenses that takes some time. All right. So as you are downloading, um, you could go make a sandwich. <laughs> you can call your girlfriend, your boyfriend, play some video games, but, uh, it, it takes a little time if your computer's slower. All right. So now once everything is downloaded, then begin the install process. Uh, this is the quick, the best way to do it that I found because MPC beats, uh, is not a huge program, but I think it's about two gigs. Uh, it's about 1.83 gigs. And so you need to make sure you have the space on your computer as well. Uh, you want to uh, start installing it. Once you click install, um, your computer will uh, begin to allocate the space. And it'll also give you a uh, dialog to uh, give permission. Uh, if you have firewalls and things like that, your computer will definitely ask you for your passwords so the internet programs won't be downloaded on your computer without your permission. So I give access and I was writing the files and it's taking up the space on my hard drive. Uh, it's a really tedious process, but the important thing for you to remember is that <clears throat> you have to uh, take the time to do this correctly. Uh, your licenses need to be activated. You need to have the space on your computer. And this is not something that you can do in five minutes and then you're just up and running and you're Dr. Dre. Once MPC Beats is loaded, right, then I would suggest that you start to move uh, to the next thing. So I'll close this dialect here and uh, it will ask me for um, permission uh, for writing things to my computer. Say yes. Make sure you read everything. Move on to the next thing. Okay. I'm going to install the sounds now. I'll click continue. My computer is telling me that it's walking me through the process. This is a process that takes patience. Make sure you have a gig of space for this next program. The next program that you install, make sure you have the space for that program. Uh, altogether, I haven't added it up, but I would suggest that you look at the uh, information tab for each sound pack in each program. It doesn't even matter if you're using this program, any program. Make sure you have the space and allocate that. 
on your uh, computer uh, hard drive. All right, so as you uh, download and install each of these kits, uh, it's very important uh, that you, I can't emphasize this enough, just exercise patience. It's not a quick process. It takes time and you have to be patient with it so that you can get your workflow going. Um, the Akai PK Mini is a really great computer. I'm sorry, it's a really great uh, controller um, and your computer needs to be acclimated uh, to what it can do. And the process of getting there is going through this uh, download and installation. Okay, so <clears throat> each of these uh, sound packs are created by different producers and different sound teams and things like that. And so it's actually to your benefit that uh, Akai is offering these basically for free uh, with your purchase. And so it's really, uh, really great. So you want to go through and you want to get all of these installation uh, successful uh, messages. If you're getting error messages in this process, um, I would make sure that my security on my computer is uh, open so that you would be able to, as you can see here, I have to type in my password in order for this program to be loaded, right? So, you know, you don't want to be, uh, you don't want your computer just to be open for computer uh, programs to be downloaded. Um, at the same time, uh, you want to be able to load the programs that uh, you would like. Now, these sounds are pretty huge, right? So these sound packs are pretty huge and uh, it takes a little time. Uh, I suggest downloading beats first, the program, then I, down, then I suggest downloading the sound packs because they're pretty huge. And then finally, uh, I suggest that you move on to the VSTs. Now, with the original Akai MPK Mini 2, they had an extra program called um, Wobble. Uh, if you have that license, good for you. Um, but if you're just getting into the Akai PK mini game, uh, you have a better situation because you get all of these sound packs. So I'm going to install Velvet. You do it the same way as with the sound packs, but this is a little different. Um, again, I suggest you download everything first. Download all the VSTs and make sure you get the installation was successful. Um, screen and then I suggest that you move on uh, to the next program okay so uh, velvet is uh, it's like an electric piano it's a really nice VST next we're gonna move on to the mini grand which is a grand piano uh, that has uh, different sounds it's just like if you had you know a baby grand piano sitting in your living room and uh, I love it because at the end of the day, you can just throw some reverb on it and you are in a concert hall, you know, um, and it has a few different um, types of baby grand pianos in that VST that you can choose from. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty great. Now, I'm, I'm showing you guys a process of going through this so that you can see that this is not like a quick thing that you can just kind of snap through and then boom you're making beats it's it doesn't work like that like we're nerds these are computers you have to go through the process of installing programs and you have to go through the process of making sure licenses are uh, purchased and things like that now there are crack files out there for these programs there are VSTs out there that you can download and put on your computer that have been hacked and things like that, but I don't suggest using those. Just buy the license. It's made by an engineer who's 
writing programs that don't have bugs. They've been tested. They have quality control and things like that. So, you know, this uh, Velvet uh, VST is an entire gig. And, uh, you know, you need to have the original programs. Like, you don't want to have a gig of space or more from this hack on your hard drive. What is that doing? Are there, you know, is there spyware in there? Is it going to turn my camera on? <laughs> you know, anyways, I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm leery of things like that. Okay. So once you get all of your VSTs set up, I'm sorry. Once you get all of them installed, now it's time to activate your licenses. If you try to open these VSTs and play them without the licenses and you get that through your activation codes and you get those through your serial numbers, if you don't do that, they're not going to work. So I suggest opening hybrid at this point. This will initiate a download of the iLock app and installation. Uh, you'll need to uh, install it as well. Again, this process is not quick. You have to take your time. It's going to write the program. And then once it writes the program, then it's going to install. Once it's installed, then you will give it permission and your computer will check to see, hey, is this program legal? Did you buy this program? And you know, it's a business, you know, um, these companies don't write this software for free, even though, you know, there's a lot of hacks out there, as I mentioned. Now, you have your hopefully you have your iLock account already set up. If you're at this point and you don't have your iLock set up, like you got to stop, you got to go back. <laughs> you got to go way, way back. If you skipped ahead on this video and you're at this point, you're going nowhere. All right, so I have an iLock account. The license is already in my iLock account. I will click activate and then I'll put in my serial number. Now, the problem that occurs if you forget your serial number, you can't activate. So there's a remedy for this. Inside of the uh, Beats program, where you download all of your programs, there is a link that you can click on that takes you to the AkaiPro.com website where you should already have an account set up where you can uh, release your license. Now, once you get that code, you will be able to license this copy to your computer via iLock after you put that activation code or serial number in for that particular program. It's right in the middle. Okay, installing Wobble is the same as hybrid. You would click on the package and then continue and you would go through the EULA, agree, put your passcode in or whatever. And uh, I've had an issue. This issue is that the package is not compatible with my current version of OS. Um, that doesn't mean that you'll have this issue with your Mac or your PC. Um, I'm running Catalina right now, uh, which is 10.15.7. Uh, um, so just a heads up uh, for you guys. If you have hybrid and wobble and it runs, great. But if you have Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.7, you probably won't be able to install. Not necessarily a nightmare. That may not be the problem in the future. Just make sure that you download the Beats software and also uh, make sure that you check the specs on the box on the website inside of your account and all of those good things okay 
check the specs check the specifications you feel me all right back to the rest of the tutorial okay so now i'm going to click on mini grand mini grand will open i'll activate my license you can copy and paste it from akaipro.com as you can see here in iLock, I can highlight it, Bing, and then click Next. Once I click Next, it will say, hey, you want to put this on this computer? And I'm like, yeah, click Next, and I get successful activation. Now, remember, you can run this as a standalone, or you can run it as a VST. As you can see, I have several different sounds here that, or several different pianos here that I could use. Okay. Um, iLock also will transfer licenses from computer to computer. It will also transfer licenses from user to user. But just remember that if you give one of your licenses to the homie, he might not want to give that license back. So uh, keep your licenses uh, under your, you know, lock and key under your, you know, username and password. Uh, Velvet is an insanely large program. Again, as you can see, these sounds are amazing. All right, made by a company called Air, and you have a bunch of coupon codes for that company. Um, I'm sorry, they have a bunch of uh, stuff that you can use that you have coupons for inside of your in music profile on Akai. So now that you have your VSTs uh, all licensed up, you want to open MPC Beats. There's a problem that I'm going to point out, but not quite yet. You want to plug in your Kai PK Mini, which it should already be plugged in if you've watched this video from the beginning up to this point. Um, and you want to select the device that you have uh, plugged in. Now, the dope part about Akai Engineers is that they said, hey, maybe our users are using more than the Akai PK Mini. Maybe they have a M Audio Oxygen keyboard, or maybe they have a Korg Nano, or maybe an Arteria, you know, Moog Mini Moog. You know, maybe they have an LPD, maybe they have a MPK um, 20, whatever. You know what I'm saying? 25 in advance. So you can select these. They even have the Ableton Push. You can select uh, what controller you're using, which is a, uh, that's, uh, pun intended, that's an advance. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I'm an advanced user. Um, I will click on the uh, advanced screen because using MPC Studio, um, the, the screen and user workspace look the same. And so just for my eyes looking at MPC Beats, um, I automatically go to the, the studio screen. Now here, uh, you can choose uh, different templates uh, to start with to get your flow. You got trap, you got hip hop, you got songwriter. Uh, you even have demos here that you can take a look at the ones that the Akai engineers made and be like, oh, OK, this is how this works. So you want to select uh, which one you want to use. Uh, and once you select it, it will load drum kits that Akai has, you know, procured for you to, um, you know, get your flow. Now, this is the uh, workspace. And as you can see, you know, there's links here that you can use to go online, watch videos. And you're like, oh, my God, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I need some help. Click on the help links. Now, uh, for me, I'm versed. If you look at the top of the screen, we got our menu here we have our mixer you know we got our sample edit our looper and all these different things and you'll learn that later you'll learn what things, these things are we have uh, drum kits already loaded and uh, it's pretty dope now uh, with MPC beats you're getting a fully powered DAW you can produce from start to finish you can sample, you can chop up samples, you can make drum patterns, you can just set up a organ and just play organ all day long if you want. You can just use it as something to uh, 
practice your finger drumming patterns. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can load up different VSTs. Now, the problem that I pointed out earlier is that once you get beats loaded up and you try to open your plugins and your VSTs, you can only get the ones that are loaded with MPC beats. If you try to open hybrid, if you try to open velvet, if you try to open the grand, you're not going to be able to do it. So that's going to present uh, somewhat of a small issue for you, but I have the remedy. Now in the old program, you used to be able to go to the uh, file edit tools view and help menus and uh, get to the settings that has changed. You can no longer get to the settings this way. And so you're going to rack your brain for like 15 days uh, trying to find uh, how. Now you're looking at the plugin manager here and you'll see that hybrid uh, Velvet and uh, Mini Grand are not here. There's only the um, plugins that come with Beats. So you can also look inside of the Expansion Manager. Inside of the Expansion Manager, you only have the expansions that were loaded in the download screen for Beats when we opened the original program. So I want to open my VSTs. I want to use hybrid. How do I do that? Well, Mr. Cafe Con Leche is here. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee real quick. Oh yeah, for you old school NPC heads, this, this right here is butter. This is butter. <laughs> Just wanted to show that real quick. Now, I'm going to relaunch MPC with a blank template. This is just how I like to start. I'm going to go to directly to plugins and I'm going to click on TubeSynth. I just started from scratch and I still can't find my plugins. Where are they? I have no idea. I'm going to click on uh, the uh, frustration button. <laughs> And then I'm going to scroll the menu again. And I'm like, where's my, where's my settings? I can't, maybe settings is in the plugin manager. Maybe I can scan. Maybe I can, I, I can't find it. And so this is why I make these videos. I don't get any compensation from Makai. It's just the love and adoration from soccer moms all over the world. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, football moms are too rough around the edges. All right. So the quickest and easiest way to do this is to, uh, go into your MPC beats drop down menu inside of your Mac. Now, if you don't know how to get to this, I'm about to show you. It's very, very simple. And I'm also going to show you how to load up your audio units from other programs. Pro Tools, um, Logic, GarageBand, Cubase, Sonar, all of these have their own audio units. You want to click on NPC Beats, you go to Settings, and then you go to Plugins, and then you click the folders that your VSTs are loaded into. This is very, very, very important. Just below that, you have the rescan all, but that's not going to help you either. You want to make sure that you click use audio units, which will load all of your other programs, uh, audio units, and then you'll click scan new. Now you're going to be able to scan the VST folders in your computer. And you'll also be able to load those VSTs and audio units. Now, once you scan them, you want to look for this green done button. Once you get the green done button, then you're ready to rock. And just for kicks and giggles, scan again without the audio units to make sure they're scanned in. 
and then click it again and click scan new and you should be fine now once you're here and you even have two other slots for other VSTs if you have different things going you click on your plugins and then now you can see that you have your MPC plugins but then you also have your air music technology uh, VSTs and then you have your audio units mine I have a few from GarageBand here right okay so now um, I'm going to click on Velvet Velvet's gonna load up and then I'm gonna hit the pop out button over here and then it's going to open it up and now I can begin using Velvet as a VST right I'm gonna double click on the grand mini grand and now I can begin to use it as a VST inside of uh, MPC beats hybrid as well another sip of my coffee okay now for producers who are using MPC beats to record vocals or vocalist I'm gonna show you a, another little extra little tweak. I'll give you a little extra sauce. I want you to go to your mixer and then go into your plug in field. On your audio track that you're recording your vocal on. Then I want you to click on, I don't know, whatever audio unit you want to use. I have audio units here from Apple, which are great, but I also have this really great um, app that I bought um, that is made by a company called Waves, which is industry standard company. Uh, you can uh, use uh, the uh, stereo version or the mono version. And uh, I'm gonna double click on it. And now I have this plug in where I can, you know, auto tune <coughs> ish uh, and I can also I don't know add say some type of EQ uh, the designers or engineers at Akai have this uh, kill EQ um, audio unit that's just it's it's so plush so uh, that's you know, a way that you can uh, begin to uh, learn to mix well in beats. Um, that is how you get started with the program. All right. So uh, make sure um, you guys add me on Instagram. Sat bro. Love. And uh, yeah, I uh, did another banging tutorial again. This is a playlist. And so uh, just make sure you watch the videos. If you like these videos, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff. Uh, but if you really like my content, I want you to go and tweet Akai Pro. Go on Twitter or Instagram at them and say Akai Pro. Please fly Brulla out to your headquarters <laughs> and offer him a paid internship exclamation point now this may or may not fly <laughs> pun intended uh, but I really would like uh, to let the people at Akai know that I appreciate their brand and that I think that their engineers are gods and uh, it will be amazing uh, to uh, I've never been to Europe you know and this might actually work. You guys might be able to present the numbers where the people at a car say, hey, maybe we should give this guy a chance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. It's Brother. It's been another banging tutorial. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, I'm out. OK, yeah. So one last thing. I almost forgot about the super noobs, super noobs. Um, if you're not getting any sound from your Akai MPK mini, um, that happens. First thing I want you to do 
is uh, to open, um, say, mini grand. I like the mini grand. Um, and I'll pop it open and uh, try to play some sounds. I'm going to pick uh, like a workstation piano or something like that. All right, so try to get sound. Bing, 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 bing. You're not getting any sound. We're going to fix that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to MPC Beats Preferences. We're going to pop open the um, plug-in, no, MIDI sync. And I want you to look in the input port to make sure that your controller, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be the Akai MPK Mini, but if you have the Akai MPK Mini, make sure it's in the input and make sure you have the correct things highlighted here. All right. I'll get into audio routing, audio routing and MIDI routing later. But once this is uh, selected, highlighted, pop open the grand, hit a few keys, you should get some sound, okay? And uh, yeah, that's the love part in bra love. That's what I do. I love you. <laughs> I'm out.